Today, I've got the brand new BAM Horror Box that is actually March's Horror Box, but it was delayed for reasons such as people trying, you know, sending back stuff, signed that, you know, they were late doing that or other reasons. But we're in April now, but this is March's Horror Box. So let's see what's in this thing, because I'm curious, you're curious, let's find out. So the BAM Horror Box is sold by the BAM Box, and I think price point of this thing is around like $30 or so. It is a monthly subscription service. You can cancel at any time. So if you ever feel as if, you know, one month you didn't get your money's worth, you wanna take a little break just to see what happens the next couple months, you can put your thing on pause or cancel it. And you wanna renew some month, you can just go back and renew it. I've done that with other past subscription boxes in the past. If they tell about the like that month's theme, if I'm not feeling the theme, I'll put a pause on it or I'll cancel it and try again the following month. You know, it's super easy. So if you just you know want to pass a month, too easy, right? So I know last month's BAM box, I can't even think what the horror box even had in it. Like I'm drawing a complete total blank. So it couldn't have been that impressive since I don't remember what was even in it. But I recently did the BAM pop culture box with the signed Star Wars Boba Fett Funko Pop, which is actually right next to me. And I was super happy with the pop culture box with a signed Boba Fett by Daniel Logan, who played young Boba Fett in Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. So this was in their pop culture box for like $30 box. So that was a fantastic return on investment. So I don't know if the horror box is going to live up to that kind of an item because there's no signed pop in this box. But no matter what, you'll be interested to see what I get in this thing. So on the top of it, let me pull out the black paper. Nothing. Just packing paper. And here we go. Uh, let me try to feel around. There's the monthly pin. Let's pull the thing out first. And your box can have an upgrade to it, which upgrade just means you have a limited edition item or a limited edition signed print or version of an autograph, you know? First thing, it said, the bag says, a Leprechaun designed by COD. This pin has limited edition release of 250 pins numbered on the back. So I guess this is probably one of the limited edition versions. The Leprechaun's face is actually sparkly. I kind of like that pin. I'm not a huge fan of monthly sub subscription box pins, but this one I actually kind of like. I'm going to keep this one. I dig that. That's kind of cool. Not valuable, but kind of cool. Okay, this feels like a syringe. Yes, it is a syringe. Oh, from the Reanimator, which is a cool horror movie, Reanimator. I haven't seen it for a long time. But yeah, this syringe have to do has to do with the movie Reanimator, and I guess if you really wanted to use this, you probably could. Yeah, <laughs> if you wanted to use this for any purpose or reason, or if you want to put like some water in it and take like water shots if you wanted to something like that, you always could. But uh, a syringe that says Reanimator on it, yeah, you know, I really don't have any use for this thing whatsoever. So, not too impressed with that, being totally honest. I think I feel two things left in this box, and that's it. I feel possibly an autograph print, and then an autograph 8x10. I think that's it. Okay. Next item. Okay, this should be the autograph print. Yeah. Because usually the autograph 8x10 is like on the very bottom of the box, kind of like, you know, your coupe de gras of the box is the autograph. So this is the signed print by the artist. You ready? One, two, three. What we get? Oh, that's really cool. That is of aliens. Of course, you have the alien on there. That's actually a very, very cool print. Signed by the artist. You can actually can read his name to the artist as Brian Romero. This one's numbered 657 out of 2,500 made. So this probably had a 
limited edition version of it, probably out of like 500 or 250 or something like that. But this was a ultra cool though. Back of it says BAM Horror, Certificate of Authenticity. This art print from our fan art collection titled Alien has been hand signed by artist Brian Romero for the BAM Horror box and is guaranteed to be authentic. So actually that is really cool. This will go up on my my uh, signed art print collection on the, on the other side of this room on the wall with everything else. I like that. That's neat. Next item. Probably the final item would be the signed 8x10. I can get it out. It'd be so cool if they did signed Funko Pops every single month or like a signed collectible item or something like that. Okay. It is upside down. I can't see who it's of. What it's of, what movie, what franchise, have no idea. This is a horror themed box, so it's going to be a horror themed autographed 8x10. Are you ready? One, two, three. What we got? Phantom of the Opera, 30 years of music. Um, hmm. Okay, so I guess this is from the Phantom of the Opera made for movie because this is originally a Broadway play. I have no idea who she is. Let's look at the back of it. Certificate of Authenticity. This item has been hand signed by Jill Sholin, who started as Christine Day in Phantom of the Opera. It was signed during a private signing for the BAM Horror Box. It's guaranteed to be authentic. I, this is kind of a stretch calling this a horror movie because Family Opera isn't really a it wasn't even a horror kind of play honestly it's not it's more of a drama so I don't know how I feel about this being in the horror box because to me that's not horror whatsoever Phantom of the Opera I don't know I'm guessing this is from the movie made for movie version this isn't from like any other Broadway plays I have no idea who this actress is I've never heard of her so honestly this 8x10 this is a huge letdown uh, I I won't be keeping this I won't add this to my collection because I have no reason to keep this it doesn't fit my collection whatsoever I don't even know who this person is so not very happy with this autograph this is my personal opinion if you're a huge fan of this actress, I'm sure you love this autograph. But yeah, to me, this should not have been in the horror box. This is not a horror movie. This is a drama. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we got. Those are the four items for 30 bucks. Okay, let me pull out. Okay, actually, here is the one-up card saying I got a one-up card. You have an upgraded limited, limited edition. Blah, blah, blah. Limited edition item in the box, which was the pin more than likely. Here's the paper telling me what is in the box. There's the box. So you got the pin. You have three versions. The common version, version out of 250, and version out of 99 for the Leprechaun fan art pins. The prints for the art print for the alien, you had two versions. The green version, the orange version. The orange version is out of 500. I actually like the green version much, much better than the orange version. So I'm actually happy that I got the green version instead of the orange, orange version. And then you have the reanimator Jello Shot replica syringe. So it's actually supposed to be used for Jello shots. The reanimator syringe. And finally, you have the autographed 8x10. It says Bam Box private signing with Jill Sholin, who played Christina in the Phantom of the Opera. And Maggie in popcorn. I'm not sure what popcorn is. I mean, like the movie. I've never heard of it. I don't think I have. Maybe I have. Maybe I have. I'm not sure. We're excited to feature Jill Sholin in this month's horror box. She not only played Christine alongside Robert England in Phantom of the Opera, who Robert England is actually uh, Freddy Krueger. She also played Maggie in popcorn. Look for the signed original score sheets and popcorn containers randomly inserted into boxes. Well, 99 of each were signed. So they did have some variations you could get out that were limited edition. So yeah, this was from the Family Opera made for movie. I I would have loved to have had Robert England signed. That would have been ultra cool, but I'm sure his price point's too high for, you know, this box. But still though, 
I don't view Phantom of the Opera as a horror movie. That is a Broadway play that is a drama. Dramas aren't horror, in my personal opinion. So, was this box worth the price point? You could say these two things, honestly, this syringe, it's, it's not worth anything. This pen, you probably say, okay, both things are like five bucks combined. This pen's probably like, you know, four or five dollars. This syringe is pretty much worthless. So, there's like five bucks. The signed art print is ultra cool. I like it. You could say this is probably worth probably about ten dollars. So with the syringe and the pen, that's probably all three things are like maybe fifteen dollars at the at the most. And then we have the autograph eight by ten of whatever her name was. Um, honestly, I don't think there's much demand for her autograph. I've never heard of her. So I mean, I probably you'd be lucky to sell something for probably honestly like ten dollars. So I'd say the value in this box is no more than $25 for everything. That's everything. So was this worth what I paid? No, it wasn't. This was not worth the monthly subscription price I paid for this box. It came close, but it was not worth it whatsoever. Because I'm actually, honestly, I'm not gonna keep this. The pen's cool, I'm gonna keep the pen. I'm gonna keep the art print. And the autograph, I'm probably just going to, I'll sell it for what I, I can get for it. Probably not much. I'd be lucky to get 10 bucks out of it. Lucky. Not too impressed with it. I know so far, bam, horror boxes, the ones I have purchased and received, I've not been very, very happy with them. The return on investment just is not there. So maybe next month it'll get better though. But I'll keep this subscription going because... There, it's still fun to do these boxes, and you know you got, got to give them like you know, one more chance because pop culture box is putting in signed Funko Pops now. So maybe the horror box will do something like that also. You never know. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next month for more subscription boxes from Bam, and I'm out.